The Countdown by Brave Assumption 2392 Experiment number 69 Subject A mass of people Operation Started I watched through my screens Observing This was my first time here I was unemployed Looking for a job And suddenly Column Demo Pharmaceuticals Took a real interest in me I was surprised at first by the email But the interview was nice I was offered the position of Supervision Though of what I was never really told But I didn't care The pay was good, the job seemed easy, life was good. Until it really wasn't. Until it was really impeccably fucked from all sides. You know, the worst kind of fear is fear of the unknown. And the most unknown thing of all in our human life is death. Of everything that happens in our life, every decision that we take, We have certain knowledge of how it will turn out. We at least are able to feel sure that we know what will happen. But what about death? Can you ever know what happens after it? Sure, there are theories there, but at the slightest possibility of you dying, you forget all logic. And that is what Column Demo Pharmaceuticals wanted to test. What happens when you are given a certain guarantee that you are going to die? And can you calm down from this type of fear? Of course, they told me that no one was actually going to die, it was just a social experiment, though it was still a bit illegal. But what was the harm? They said they wanted to test their new panic calming medicine, and this was the perfect setup. So, on the village people of Turog, the operation started. Even I don't know where that is. From the hidden speakers, an announcement was made. Death shall commence in 100. A 10 second pause. 99. 5 second pause. 98. 15 second pause. The timing was a bit irregular, on purpose. As expected, signs of mass hysteria started to occur. Hey, what the fuck is happening? I don't know man, where is this sound coming from? They were still a little calm, but it was expected at first. 95 94 93 All the villagers were now gathering up and discussing. Is this one of your pranks, John? If it is, I will fuck... Oh no, man. Do you think I do pranks if death commences in? Hell no. Then what the fuck is happening? Suddenly, the counting sped up. 89. 87. 86. Oh my fucking God. What the fuck is even happening? Uh, Are there like speakers or some shit somewhere? Hey guys, you know what? Let's calm down. It's just a countdown, okay? Like, you know, what can even happen? Has somebody really died yet? Fuck this shit. Though we appreciate your message, Sam, it would be better if you do not swear in front of the kids. You're new here, and everybody would like it if you maintained a bit of decency. Really? They were caring about decency and a possible you are going to fucking die right now situation. Sam was actually one of our actors. He was supposed to die shortly, showing that anyone who dared oppose this cosmic force would be eliminated now. He was going to die by heart attack and with the drug designed by our company, Ibodentin. It slows your heart rate so much it would seem as if you're dead. So I continued watching through the surveillance cameras. The company had made this amazing infrastructure so stealthy that no one was able to notice it. And I watched Sam swallow the capsule which was fitted in his teeth. 
I was waiting amidst the countdown. 79. Pause. 78. Pause. Why doesn't it stop, man? Listen, guys, calm down. Let's just all stay here with everyone until it stops. Being together, it may help us. He's right. 71. 70. First death commencing. I was excited to see the acting of Sam. Possibly even laugh at it. And then his fucking torso exploded. All of his ribs, his muscles, spinal cord, parts of his heart, his lungs, his stomach, small and large intestine, and every fucking body part you can label was out there, splattered and spread across the people. And blood. Lots of blood. For 10 complete seconds there was silence, both in the village and in my closed cubicle. And then it was heard. 69, 68, 67. Oh my God! What the, what the fuck? I screamed out loud. This was not part of it. This was not supposed to happen. What in the actual hell? I stood to get up and immediately my phone rang. I was already terrified and that ring further startled me. With trembling hands, I picked up. What do you think you're doing? Sit down and observe. You are also required to give commands. You even dare to try to get out of there. You shall be terminated. I don't give two fucks about this job and its money. You can fuck off. Oh, terminated did not mean fired, you prick. It meant termination from your useless life. I sank down on my chair. I was fucked. Now sit down and do your work. Also, now that you know, the medicine which you shall release is for calming down, right? You may only release it after we give permission, though when you do it is up to you. Uh, okay, sir. And I continue watching. I had to. The situation was getting drastic now. People were scared. No, no, hysterical. They were screaming, crying, praying. The countdown had now reached 40. 39. 38. 37. And then it sped up. Like, it sped the fuck up. 36. 35. 34. 33. 32. 31. 30. You may now release the medicine. The message popped up on my screen. I immediately clicked enter. Finally, the horror would stop. The medicine was supposed to be so effective that even with a dead body, even a bomb in front of you, you would stay calm. And still, you would stay logical. Not high. Logical. And that was the biggest mistake I ever did. The horror didn't stop. It increased in manifolds. Guys, Sam's body is moving. What? No! Oh my god, it's coming at me. Chad! And with that, Alex was dead. I never knew what killed him. Maybe heart attack? Maybe brain hemorrhage? That report is only with them. All that mattered was that the drug was working. Turns out, the drug wasn't panic calming. It was panic inducing. And the things that were done by the people of the village to each other, to the woman, the children. And I had to witness them. I had to witness them all. The countdown stopped long ago, but for them, it was still going. The blood, the bones, the screams, the crying of innocent children. In the end, there was a pop-up message on the screen. Operation successful. (laughs) 
I just want to thank Brave Assumption 2392 for the opportunity to narrate their story. If you liked what you heard, please head over to their Reddit page and give them some love. The link will be in the description below. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for one more nightmare.